Good evening, y'all. Come meet my dogs. So I have five dogs in total and they are everything to me. In my tier of life, it goes Jesus, my family, and then you guys are my dogs. <laughs> this is my best friend. <laughs> so Banksy does not like for me to hold him when he's outside. <laughs> he wants to be running around. <laughs> Banksy was my first dog since Chili's. So if y'all remember a long time ago, Tater's not gonna like Binks being the center of attention. Binks is gonna be running around like crazy this entire portion. But, um, so I had a wiener dog named Chili and I had her whenever I first started my YouTube channel. And if you've been here for a long time, you'll probably remember over on Instagram me having a literal breakdown. But even back then, before this, ha this incident happened, like I was still very, you know, I didn't just give them anything. I didn't give them slop, I didn't give them even table scraps. I was too afraid to I didn't want them to mess up their belly but we were at Dollar Tree and I don't know why I decided to do what I did but I decided to get some of those dog treats in the blue packet and I think it was because I was at Dollar Tree and I saw them and I was wanting to teach Chili some tricks and I know you know you can break them apart and use them as incentive and I broke them apart because I didn't want to give her too much so I broke them apart and I was teaching her roll over and sit and just like she knew a little bit but I was trying to just get down pat the basic, the basic commands and um, and within hours after me like playing around with her and training her and stuff she got sick as a dog and it got to the point where she was throwing up puking couldn't keep anything down and that night she was gone like that night if there wasn't a recall uh, we checked I don't know if it was something she was allergic to but that was absolutely devastating and Binks was just a puppy whenever we had Chili we had had her for a while and Binks was a puppy when that happened so I kind of held on to Chili through Binks because her and Binks were like best friends and through that I loved my dog anyway but through that Binks and I grew a very close bond and then Binks was around whenever I was changing my life you know I haven't been a bad person now I mean you know like bad and y'all know my history I haven't been that in like eight years I was still doing a lot of changing even five years ago I was still doing a lot of changing I'm still doing a lot of changing now definitely five years ago you know I had just it was fresh and I was I had just like let God take the reins over my life and I was having to do a lot of changing internally and externally too and Binks was there and he was kind of my therapy because the Lord knows I couldn't afford therapy back then <laughs> he was my therapy and through that we grew an extremely extremely close bond and that's why I get so fresh when people assume that I've gotten rid of him just because I don't show him as much as I used to because there's no getting rid of Binks until Jesus takes him away from me he is my Binks Howard he is literally my best friend he knows things that nobody but Jesus knows like I have told him in his little ears his little floppy ears I have told him things that nobody but Jesus knows I didn't rescue him though I got him from a breeder he is the oldest dog in the pack and he kind of has Mufasa energy. <laughs> he loves Tater with a passion. He loves the kids with a passion. And he protects the kids. Um, he does not like new people coming to the house. I have to make sure he's crated when new people come to the house. Because he is so protective over the house and the people in it. He can be territorial. Um, but not in a like aggressive mean way like he's got to be given a reason to be territorial and new people around his family he doesn't like that especially if he doesn't know you so it's nothing new for the mailman to come knocking on the door and Binks to try and eat him he has been the center of my little animal world for five years now he is a Valentine's Day baby so he was born on Valentine's Day his favorite human other than myself would be probably Colton <laughs> um, he doesn't have a whole lot of health issues but he does not tolerate anesthesia at all so I always have my eye on him because if he were to need surgery for something, I would be terrified because of the fact he has issues with anesthesia. Tater! Big sirs, as a baby, as my boy, I love him. <laughs> here he goes. The second oldest dog in the pack is Miss Tater here, who is a menace. <laughs> she is. She is. Raw. 
rotten. Um, I, she, she's a Craigslist baby. She was needing a home and she was very malnourished when we got her and she was very overflowing with worms. We think she's a dachshund. She definitely has dachshund characteristics, but I think she's also got some chihuahua in her. Because boy, oh boy, does she probably have some chihuahua in her. <laughs> her temperament alone but I mean just like her her face and stuff it doesn't look full-blooded Dawson Binks is like papered he has he's full-blooded Dawson she you can tell there's something just a little bit off <laughs> they docked her tail for some reason I think they said that there was a kink in her tail whenever she was a puppy and I don't know much about kinks so I don't know but they did dock her tail but she is how old is she now she's three but Tater thinks she's the leader of the pack. So Moonpie's actually the leader of the pack, and Tater thinks she's the leader of the pack. And Tater and Moonpie have this, they're like frenemies. They have this love-hate relationship. Uh, in one minute, they love each other, and the next, they just don't want to be around each other. Binks is in the middle of that, because Binks is everybody's, like, the dog's friends. So, like... Tell them who his favorite is. His favorite is the giantess, is the what giant. Shane calls her. <laughs> blue jeans. He loves blue jeans. Blue jeans loves them, but he loves blue jeans. Like, I think he has a thing for her. <laughs> he likes tall women. He likes tall women. <laughs> you run, little short king. <laughs> Tater has a crap ton of energy, and she is so vocal. Nine times out of ten, if you hear a dog barking in the background, it's either blue jeans or Tater, but it's probably Tater. Colton has claimed Tater, though. Like, he has a little bond with Tater. Colton has a bond with all the dogs in his own way, but he really, really loves Tater. But Tater has a lot of energy. She definitely has that chihuahua yelp. Um, I, like I said, I really think she has chihuahua in her. She really likes Rocky. She does not like Moon Pie. Like I said, they're friend of me. Sometimes she does, sometimes she don't. She don't like blue jeans. <laughs> but blue jeans? She tolerates her, but she's, she's just not overly friendly with her like she is with Binks. Really, those two are a duo. Hi, <laughs> baby. <laughs> those two are a duo, ain't you? Are you and Tater a duo? Do you get into trouble and mischief and go under barbed wire fences to mules across the fence? <laughs> like, I please. Moon Pie was our third dog. Moon Pie was the one that we kept a secret from y'all for forever because she was training to be a service dog. Well, therapy dog. Moon Pie is over a year old. She is a toy Australian Shepherd and she is not a rescue. We actually were very specific in our search for her and she's exactly what we were searching for. We got her to be somebody's therapy dog and she ended up being Shane's <laughs> therapy dog. Even though she does she does She's do my good. my therapy dog and I'm her therapy dog. She does do good with uh, everybody's therapy. Like she's very in tune with your emotions and if we holler for her, go, go get Cammy in the background right here. Moon Pie, where's Cammy? Where's Cammy? 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 Where's Cammy? Where's Cammy? She will go find him no matter where he's at. She is on it to make sure that he's there. She was our third dog. She was our first dog that was not a wiener. Uh, Moon Pie has a very dominant personality. Moon Pie is the smallest out of the shepherds, but she owns everybody. She's, alpha. <laughs> she's the alpha. Even with the wieners, she's the alpha. Even with Rocky, he's humongous. He's 20 times her. He's 100 times her. She's the alpha. She is head of the pack. She is very, very, very intelligent. Probably one of the most intelligent dogs I have ever seen ever. Like I said, she is very in tune with your emotions and she's very in tune with cues too. <laughs> but she's over a year old and her best friend in the whole entire world other than Shane the human is Blue Jeans the dog. <laughs> we were trying to think of a smoky name or something to call her but then I looked at the moon and I was like moon pie <laughs> but we were driving through a forest fire so we were driving down this highway and on both sides of the road there was a fire on both sides like just crawling up the mountains so we were trying to think of like smoky something with fire something for her name but she was just a moon pie i wish i would have showed her to you guys whenever she was a puppy i didn't because i wanted to she was a working dog so she's a working dog for us she's our pet now too but she was a working we were trying to get a dog that would benefit one of our kids in the way that they needed to be benefited. So she came in as a working dog and ended up being a working dog and a pet. So there's a lot of training going on in her younger months and we just didn't know what our life was going to look like with her. And I didn't want to get on here and be like, yay, we finally got a therapy dog because we've been wanting one for so long. 
and then it not work out and they're and it you know what I'm saying and her just end up being a pet and then I got my hopes up everybody's hopes up so she ended up being both exactly what we needed she is not certified she cannot be certified she's wild but we're taking her back once those puppy years get underneath her and she kind of mellows out we're taking her back to get certified um, but honestly the certification doesn't hold her back because she does everything we need her to blue blue was my second rescue this is blue jeans dolores and <laughs> she she's wild <laughs> if you've watched the videos you know that blue jeans is my dentist the menace she is wild she is crazy she is a free spirit i rescued her out of a barn <laughs> and fun fact she puked on me all down my leg and all into the vent in my car on the way home with her she's my second rescue and i love her and she has such a special place in my heart she is the child of the group she is the youngest out of all of them and you can tell like mentally she is she is a puppy still she is six months old so i got wind of her and that she was living in a barn <laughs> and it, living in the barn i think caused her some visual problems because whenever I got her, I had so many vet bills from her eyes alone. We had to get all sorts of things and it actually caused her to be blind in her left eye. Like me, twinsies. She had a slew of problems. I still don't think she had worms as bad as Tater did. <laughs> Tater's worms were off the chart. Tater's worms were just, I mean, overflowing out of her. But she did have issues. Just most of them were visual and I think it was because she was in a dark barn. I don't know for sure. I can't tell because I wasn't there. I, personally, I wasn't there, but I do know she was kept in a barn. I, mean, I do know she had severe eye issues after that, and I do know she's blind now. So she's got vision in one eye. She's got one good eye like mama. Boo boo. You got one eye like mama. What a baby. She has the prettiest yellow eyes you will ever see, ever. Like, look, blue jeans. Cooperate. <laughs> Look, you see her pretty yellow eyes? They were blue whenever I first got her, which is why I called her blue jeans. The older she got, the yellower they got, and we thought it was with her eye problems. We were like, oh snap, her eyes are like yellow, like jaundice or something. It wasn't. They were just changing colors, and now I have a yellow-eyed dog. <laughs> she loves water bottles. Water bottles are her favorite toy ever. Anything she can chew on. She's in her chewing stage for sure. She's our youngest baby, but she's not our newest baby. Now you're going to sit still when I'm almost done with your segment. <laughs> Look at her baby. <laughs> Blue Jeans loves to be outside. Blue Jeans is an Australian Shepherd. I don't know if she's full-blooded. She came out of a barn. She probably ain't. But she's very much an Australian Shepherd. She's got the characteristics of an Australian Shepherd. She's got an Australian Shepherd's mind, an Australian Shepherd's energy. She herds everything, including my kids and myself. And the um, and the wieners. She is obsessed with the wieners. The wiener dogs are her most favorite creatures on this planet. She wants to be around Binks and Tater at all times. She herds Binks and Tater. She protects Binks and Tater. Like Binks and Tater are Blue Jean's most favorite thing. I would like to think that I was Blue Jean's most favorite thing, but in reality, Binks and Tater are Blue Jean's most favorite thing in the world. What are you doing? <laughs> are you rolling down the hill? <laughs> <laughs> she also puts her whole entire weight on you. Rocky is our newest addition. He is the one that we've got most recently and he's my baby. He is my sole animal. Um, he's, I don't know, we like just, I mean, we bonded right off the bat, didn't we? I don't know a whole lot about him. I wish I knew more. Um, but what I do know is he's a rough collie, obviously, and we're pretty sure that he's full-blooded. Um, he's giving me his hand to shake. <laughs> We're pretty sure that he's full-blooded. Um, what I do... <laughs> Rocky! <laughs> he's following me. Hold on. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. What I do know is that he is a rough collie and he is supposed to be two years old. However, our vet thinks that that's a little bit off because of the state of his teeth. His teeth are so bad. His teeth are, are literally rotting. We've got to have several pulled. So, we think... We were told he was two years old. We think he's two years old. It could just be that his genetics are bad with his teeth, like mine. <laughs> Twinsies, I'm twinning with my dogs. But what I do know is that he was bought for a breeding program because they thought he was a Sheltie. And then he just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And they realized he wasn't a Sheltie, that he was a Collie, and they didn't need him after that. Have y'all ever watched Homeward Bound? He is my shadow. Like, he is the grandfather of the pack. <laughs> He's very much got grandpa energy. 
um, but he loves me like I don't know if I've ever been loved except for Binks um, by a dog like that's how much he loves me and within weeks I just I knew that like he was supposed to be here he was going to be here anyway like I said when I get a dog the dog stays but I knew he was supposed to be here he was meant to be here after a few only a few weeks he's so well mannered he knows he knows obedience so I don't know if he necessarily had it rough I don't think he did I think that the people who had him treated him good um, but at some point in his life like his ears broken and Rocky, can you look over this way and he's got scars up and down his face he's got scars <laughs> oh, I love you I love you he whenever he wants me to pet him he'll paw at me you want me to pet you I love you. You are something else. You look like you've been through something. He's been through the bushes over there and he's got like leaves and stuff all in his fur. Whenever Moon Pie does that, we call her Mange Pie because it looks like she has the mange. He also does this. So he will stick, he will stick his head in my underarm and he will stay there until like I'm like, okay, you know. Um, I don't know what that means i don't know if it means anything if it maybe it's just like his comfort thing like you know sometimes kids have like a security blanket or something maybe that's his security blanket i don't know whenever they bought him they bought him as a sheltie um and he was meant to be in a sheltie <laughs> he was meant to be in a sheltie breeding program and he ended up not being a sheltie so they didn't need him anymore but I just need you to be here. I don't need you to be in a breeding program. He is our biggest dog, but he is the most gentlest dog. He has the most gentlest like little spirit. Out of all my dogs, he is the most gentle. He's the one where a kid can run up and just like grab him or grab his fur and he will not do anything, nothing out of the way. I actually have, we've been having issues with some neighbor's dogs and the neighbor's dogs have been trying to attack blue jeans and moon pie they've been chasing them up into our yard they've they're like coming into our yard and doing that so rocky was out there and um they thought they were going to do the same thing to him but he didn't scare off he didn't run off like blue jeans and moon pie did he just stood there so they literally attacked him bit him and everything and he would not retaliate that is how well-mannered he is like even when a dog actively attacks him he will not attack back and his callback is perfect so if um he is running off and he sees something like a ball or something and he's running after it all i'll have to say is rocky and like he's right there like his callback is perfect rocky <laughs> see what he does he like puts his head into me <laughs> i don't know why he does that but no matter what he's doing no matter what's got his interest if i say rocky his callback he's like bam right there I cannot say that about a majority of my dogs. Moon Pie has a good callback. Blue Jeans has an okay callback, but Binks and Taylor's callback is horrible. Well, back in the trailer park, I've had Binks for five years. Back in the trailer park, he didn't have room to run around and stuff like he does now. So he's never been used to having all this space and then me yelling for him. Like he's used to me yelling for him in a little closed, enclosed trailer. But whenever he's out and about, there's just so much that he missed in his first five years that he's trying to see and pick up on and stuff. So Rocky is all the way down at the corner of the yard. Watch this. Rocky! He is all the way down. I'd say, I don't know, at the very bottom of our property, an acre away. And he is batting it up here. What boy? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. So those are my dogs. Those are my five crazy, but I'm obsessed with them. Those <laughs> dogs. They all love water bottles, look. Literally all of them love water bottles. Blue Jeans finds the water bottles and puts them all over the yard. Actually, every piece of trash in this yard is thanks to Miss Blue Jeans. But they all love water bottles for some reason. You will hear them. If, you can probably hear them in some of the videos chewing on water bottles. What do you call her, Blue Jeans? Blue Jeans Dolores. I don't Blue Jeans Delaney. Okay, so their middle names, okay. Banks have, easy. Banks Howard. You want to tell them how? Huh? How they got the name? Yeah, I will tell you. So Banks, so Banks's middle name is Howard. So his name is Banks Howard. How did he get the middle name, Shane? Um, from the character Ryan Howard in The Office. Uh, the Office. Yeah. I don't know why. There was really no rhyme or reason. I just started calling him Banks Howard, and it stuck. And then Tater's is Tater McGuffin. Tater McGuffin. 
I don't know. And then uh, Moon Pies is Moon Pie Aloysius Johnston the Third. That's from Little Rascals. The little Rascals. His name is Waldo Aloysius Johnston the Third. They're back under the fence. Shane, go get them. This is why they can't. This is why they can't. They're running around. Go get them. This is why they can't be left alone outside or let outside. Period. Why is she dead set on coming back here? So this is why I'm gonna show you guys why and how she's able to get across this fence. We're putting a new fence up, thankfully. But until then, we have to be very vigilant about them. This is why. It's just, it's barbed wire. And the wieners can easily get underneath there. Rocky can't, Blue Jeans can't, Moon Pie can, but she won't. Um, but even then, there's a double fence over there. Our neighbor's fence, our fence, and they still get over both of them. Shane just had to go, I don't know how far away to find them. I had to go wrangle some wieners. <laughs> I gotta go change my shirt because blue jeans got me all muddy. Plus I had syrup on my shirt, all the things. It's almost spring. It's almost time to do my first ever actual garden. But if I wanna do my garden come the first of spring, then I need to get my spring cleaning-ish done right now. I don't have a whole lot of spring cleaning to do because we just moved here six, I suppose a couple months ago. Time flies. It's been longer than a couple months ago. We just moved here six months ago, seven months ago. Something like that, I don't know. I'm, I'm bad with time. And I did a huge, I mean, top to bottom, front to back, side to side clean of the double wide when we first moved in here. So it's not been exactly a year and things aren't really that bad because things are ever changing because we're doing a lot of mobile home renovations lately. So I don't have a lot of spring cleaning around the entire house per se, but I do have specific areas in the home that need a loving touch of hand. Loving... <laughs> They need some. So I need to tackle those so that when the first day of spring hits, oh, I'm going to be out there like Laura Ingalls Wilder with my little hoe thing. And my other thing. I don't know what they're called, but we're going to use them. <laughs> Got a crap ton of laundry. Um, I need to do a crap ton of little spring cleaning. And yeah, just get the house together. Good thing is my dad visited earlier. And you know that 10 minutes before somebody gets here, like company gets to your house and you do the speed cleaning and it's the best cleaning you ever do. And you're like, how come I couldn't do this in 10 minutes any other time? Why does it only have to be 10 minutes before I have company? I had that kind of cleaning this morning. So the living room is like spotless. I love a good 10 minute, oh snap, somebody's coming clean up time. I'm gonna work on just tidying up the bedroom real quick. The girls had a sleepover in here the night prior and I'm not gonna clean clean it. I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit Get the floor kind of cleared out a little bit just cleared out enough so i can walk around the bed and get this laundry taken care of girl mm, shock me like an electric eel Before the light there is a tunnel Before you run you got 
to reset my whole laundry situation. It hasn't gotten totally out of control, but I was backed up a little bit with clean laundry. I just haven't been folding it once it's clean. I've just been piling it up. So I wanted to get the laundry slate cleaned so that we can start off the week, start off our Monday by just tossing the clothes in the washer and washing it load for load as we accumulate dirty laundry. I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94 Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to my Mars Why does love always have to be this hard? Got me feeling like I'm gonna do this little stretch right here and then we are done with the clothes that I already washed and we're gonna continue keeping them up this weekend so that we don't get behind and get ourselves in a pickle. I'm gonna do last minute. I didn't plan for this homemade pizzas for dinner tonight. You might hear some cute little singing from my kiddos in the background. They're washing dishes and like having them a whole like concert. They're in a concert in their mind. This pizza though, the family had a fit over. I will go ahead and tell you that. It was super simple and I did it so anybody can do it. It took three cups of flour and then a little bit of salt and two of these packets of active dry yeast. I mixed up that really good with some like just Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic salt, just a little bit because I'd already added salt. Like, you know, pizza sort of spices, I added those in there and mixed it up real good. And then in a separate thing, I put some warm water. I'll have the exact recipe linked down below because if you guys struggle with baking breads and rolls and things like I do, it's this right here, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. The family asked for this to be on the weekly meal rotation, so we'll be making a lot of this. I didn't get to eat it. I did get to try it, but it had has, you know it had bread and stuff in it so I couldn't like indulge in it or anything but I did try it and the bread was amazing this is warm water some olive oil and some sugar mixed up I put it in with the dry mix and then it's like crumbly so you just lay it out on a floured surface and knead it for about four or five minutes then put it back in the bowl cover it leave it covered just for about five minutes that's it you don't have to really give it like an hour to rise or anything just five minutes covered to the side and then you're ready to roll it out now I didn't have a roll Olympian I'd have I don't know where it went it got legs and walked up out of here like everything else does but I couldn't find rolling pins so I just quickly you know rinsed off washed off my olive oil spray can aerosol spray can thing that you you know spray on pans for non-stick stuff and I just rolled <laughs> I used it to roll out my dough hey it worked I didn't know what I was gonna do because I was trying to mash it down with my hands but it still wasn't giving me that rolled out sort of effect so I rolled it out with this and it worked I did make sure I cleaned it first and then once I got it rolled out I put it on my little pizza thing here and I made sure that it was like you know even like an even little circle I put in some great value marinara and added just a little bit of sugar just to oomph it up a little bit in this little cup here and that's what I used as the sauce then I had only a little bit of mozzarella so I added in some white and orange cheddar cheese and I kind of like mixed it so it had a bunch of different cheeses on it and then I topped it with pepperoni baked it at 450 for about 15 to 20 minutes i think i left mine for like 18 19 minutes and it came out absolutely perfect the kids have asked me to do it every single day this week <laughs> of course we haven't but it's probably going to be like our friday night special especially like if we're going to call in papa john's i made this in no time if we're going to call in and pay that expensive amount of money for that pizza like i can just make this and it's just as good if not better per shane like he's the pizza champion i made pizza dough okay i'm not gonna get too excited because it may taste like a fart but i made it nonetheless Daddy.
chain at right. <laughs> Never. Of course the kiddos would ask me to make cupcakes when I'm actively dieting. One half. Okay. And then I need a third of vegetable oil. Oh! Did <laughs> it get in your mouth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys don't know how to crack an egg. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it. There you go. Oh. That's great. Okay, it's good. It's good for the batter. Look at me all Martha Stewart. This is homemade chocolate buttercream icing. Good morning. Auntie Flo Rida came to the house today. On weigh-in day, of course. Not only is she wreaking havoc on the scale, but she's also wreaking havoc on my face. Um, I lost 0.4 pounds this week. And I don't know whether to be mad at myself or not because I don't know if it's because Flo Rida's here or if it's because I added grains like rice back into my diet from doing keto. I, t I talked to you guys that about that in the last video. I started adding a little bit of grain, um, like whole wheat bread and rice. That could be why I only lost 0.4 pounds. I don't know whether to be mad at myself or not. Because I don't know if when Flo Rida leaves the club, if I'll drop more weight, you know what I'm saying? So, time will tell, I guess. After losing 2 point something pounds last week and then 0.4 pounds this week, I'm so hesitant. I'm so much thinking about only weighing in once a month just to keep myself from getting discouraged and backtracking, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get discouraged and backtrack. A loss is a loss though. 0. 0.4, I weigh 0. 0.4 pounds less than what I did last week. I'm going to wake up because it's super early. The sun is just like popping out. It's on a Saturday too. I literally try to my best to read when I go to sleep at night because it's the only time I get reading in. And I fall asleep within at least 15 or 20 minutes of starting to read and I read like a whole three pages because I'm a slow reader and then I wake up with the birds but I have to like jump right on it or I, my day gets ahead of me and I don't want to be behind my day so today we have some stuff to do around the house just because it's Saturday don't mean I ain't got no work to do and I learned my lesson from like YOLOing it on weekends and then paying for it on Monday I don't like doing that Hey, last time I saw you, I wasn't dressed for the day. I was in my granny gown. I'm dressed for the day. I've actually been spending the last hour, I'd say, watching one Saturday morning cartoons of the kiddos. I introduced my kiddos to 90s cartoons because they're top tier. I found out you can YouTube one Saturday morning cartoons and like the old 90s commercials and everything like five hour long videos i'll link them down below because we have had so much fun watching those it's been like a blast to the past very nostalgic but my kiddos have been loving like pepper ann doug my favorite cartoons as a kid was like pepper ann brace face poopy long stockings oh, but i've got all my stuff done i got my mess and took i still am using this i showed you guys this a while back magnesium spray I am still using this religiously every single day. I do six sprays, three on each arm. Sometimes when I'm feeling fancy, I do four on each arm. Um, but I stand by this stuff. I'm always skeptical, you know what I'm saying? This I am not skeptical of anymore because I know I'm living proof. I've been using it for months now and it has changed the game. Productive energy for days. It just makes you feel better, especially if you're deficient deficient in magnesium it stings if you're if you're deficient in magnesium it stings your skin for the first few days but once you get it in your system it doesn't sting so much anymore it doesn't sting me at all now and when i first started using it it did sting so i've already took my medicine my thyroid medicine i already got this done been watching cartoons with shane and kiddos saturday morning cartoons and then i got a load of laundry in the washer so i haven't been totally unproductive but i need to get more productive because i got a lot to do today 
my mamma would hit me upside the head with a frying pan if she heard me say this, but I don't know how to make, like, pinto beans and cornbread. So, I know you're supposed to add some sort of meat, but I don't know. So, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to try my hand at just a YOLO pinto beans, soup beans, as she called them, in the crock pot. And so, I looked for little pebbles in my beans. I rinsed them off. I didn't let them soak because I didn't know till after the fact that you're supposed to let them soak. But I put them in the crock pot and filled up the water to about an inch and a half above the beans and added some spices like thyme and paprika and salt and onion powder and garlic salt and things like that. Covered it and cooked it on high <laughs> for like 10 hours. And boy, were those things done when I got done with them. <laughs> oh, oh, I added some beef broth too because I thought, you know what? I'm probably supposed to add meat, but I don't know what meat to add. I think you're supposed to use like fat back or like bacon or something. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to use beef broth. It'll work. And it, it kind of did. Like they were banging. They were banging. And all I know it's been a long time I was on the sideline waiting for you We could go to California or anywhere you wanna As long as I'm with you I'm alright And we don't need the drama We found our own nirvana So run away with me tonight Cause it First load of the day folded. Load two folded. We're on a roll with laundry today. I have clean laundry, but it's not folded, so we're getting folded. Third load is done. And we don't need the drama. We found our own nirvana. So run away with me tonight. on folding load two. Another load of laundry in the books for this weekend. I've been working steadily all weekend long to make sure all the clean laundry is folded and put away and all the dirty laundry it was washed. I didn't have a crap ton of dirty laundry like I'm used to having, but I did have a lot of dirty laundry. So I got all of the clean laundry folded and put away in the middle of doing that. And then I've got one more load to put in the washer and then all of their dirty laundry will be clean. I've been working on all of that so that I can clean the laundry room because it's atrocious. Since you left me here, so come on. Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell into a big black hole. It got 
I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure Georgie like her first time. <laughs> grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it, Colton. Grab it, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get away from my egg, don't you dare peck that. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm a grandma. I am a grandma. I'm a grandma. Oh. Your grandma, no, you're a chef. No, I'm officially Laura Ingalls Wilder. Georgie's my favorite, so I claim grandma status with this one. What do you do when your favorite chicken lays an egg? You don't eat it, but there's not a baby in it because I don't have roosters. Well, I mean, I do, and I'm going to have to actually... Yeah, you hear that? They're fighting because I have roosters. The hatchery said they were that they could 99% guarantee as females, but um, there's some roosters in there. And I'm not calling a chicken, so I've got to figure out what I'm doing. Shake. <laughs> Shake. You're a bubble. 
Shane's making some updated temporary nesting boxes for the chickens. I love how he loves the chickens. Like, whenever I mentioned I wanted chickens, he was kind of apprehensive about it. And he was like, oh, Rena, I don't know. Like, we ain't chicken kind of people. I was like, we're going to be chicken kind of people. And now, he's all about the chickens. He calls them ladies. He tells them good morning, good night, <laughs> all the things. So, we real quick had scrap wood. We just had old wood that we had already used and we re really didn't have any use for. It kind of was just accumulating in the building. So, he took that and made a little nesting box sort of thing. And had a little angle cut like this and made a little ramp for them. Oh my gosh, it was so precious. A single mom that was two jobs loves her kids. And stop. Oh, we love it. How do they know that that's where they'll lay their eggs? Hi, Daddy. That's the one that chased Daddy. Daddy chased it. <laughs> Who seen that one the funny bone? <laughs> he like Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> What's seen that one funny bone since this box funny? That's exactly noise. The one I chased, I'm, I'm naming it Chocobo. I can't wait to, for Daddy to get uh, grass seeds. You know? Yeah, it's getting too cold. <laughs> That's my Georgie baby. Then act like mama. Yeah! I do not drive like that. <laughs> yeah! Act like me for real. Okay. When I hear an ambulance. Guys, pray. Um, pretend we're late for somewhere and I'm driving. Kids, kids, here's your food. Just eat in the car. It's okay. We don't have to go home. Alright, whenever I'm listening to worship music. Don't you tell me he can't do it. <laughs> I see cancer disappear. Come on. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Cause I know <laughs> he can't do it. It's always the look back. I see cancer disappear. <laughs> well, good glory. <laughs> 90 song. I'm singing rap. Uh, Mom, spaghetti. Back to reality. Oh, the gold reality. Oh, the gold reality. Back to reality. Oh, the gold reality. Alright, oh. now I'm listening to country music. Have your boots been. Have your boots been under. <laughs> Country. How's your boots been? Has your boots been under? <laughs> now, me whenever somebody makes fun of you. Oh! Give me the headphones! <laughs> Pretend to be me when somebody's bullying you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't, I don't give a rat's hide in. <laughs> I don't give a rat's hide in. Your kids need better manners. <laughs> you better pray for them. <laughs> On the way to church. Let's get some Christian music going up here. Yes, yeah, she does. Don't do that. you tell me he can't do it. Cause I he know. Can't listen, listen. Do it. No, this is God's me. Not Mama, God, your eyes are closed. Don't you tell me he'll put food in the kitchen. Cause he's good all the time. <laughs> Coin, look behind you. See if there's blue jeans. <laughs> I don't think I can go down this hill. <laughs> Guys, pray I can go that, down this side <laughs> hill. What is wrong? Guys, pray that our car makes it through here. <laughs> Last folded load of the day. Daggone, we've been on it. We got the laundry done, the laundry folded. The kiddos are going to run it and put it away. We got the laundry room cleaned. We got the laundry room closet cleaned and organized. We got quite a bit done this weekend, though, because we had fun all weekend long. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you'll have a blessed morning or not, whatever Where it is, is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but... Jesus loves you so much! Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.